Alrighty, what's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Candace with the K here. We are talking about hair. So I really rave about this hair. Like there's no denying that I love Ming Lee. I love snob mob hair, but I am starting to debate whether or not it is worth it. Let's get into it. With my birthday quickly approaching, I wanted new bundles, okay? Every girl's favorite thing, right? So for Thanksgiving, that was going to be my Black Friday purchase, was to buy new hair. And because I follow Ming, I really do love her. I love her whole uh, branding business standpoint. Um, I was like, you know what? Smile Mob is having a, a hair sale, opposed to shopping on AliExpress, which was going to be my go-to because I thought I wanted to have multiple hair looks. I was like, let me just invest in some quality hair because I know it's going to last. On this channel, I have a video of when I first bought some Snob Mob hair, which was probably about six to seven years ago. And at the time, Ming was only just peddling bundles in Atlanta. Like she wasn't who she is today. Um, and I also have a video of Japanese denim straight, which is what this is. So for Black Friday, I bought three bundles and a closure. Um, so let's unbox that now. So right off the bat, what I noticed, or let me just say what I don't truly care for is the weight of these bundles, okay? I did buy three bundles and a closure. And if I were to make a wig with just these three bundles and a closure, baby, that wig would have been vacant. It would have been PC, it would have been empty, it would not have been bomb. Luckily, I had purchased only these three bundles with it already in mind that I was going to use my previous hair to add to a wig to make the wig full. So my advice to you is if you're thinking about getting long hair, so I got the 28 inches, the 24 inches, 26 inches, and a 14 closure, then my advice to you is that you make sure that you get enough hair to really fill it out. Of course, the longer you go, the more hair you need. This wig is heavy, okay? This wig is so heavy that I like sweat when I put it on. There's so much hair on this wig. But the thing is, is because this hair is long, I have to put a lot of hair on it to make it look full. So I have the 28 inch here. So the 28 comes just above my hip. So it's way down here. Um, so I have the 28. Then I, all the hair that I took from a previous wig was 26 inches, okay? So I put all the 26, well, not all of it. I put some of the 26 inches in the middle here. And then um, I had a 24 bundle that I kind of chopped up and screwed up into the top. And then I have this 14 closure. 
The reason why I even went with a 14 inch closure was because that's all they had in stock. That is not a preference of mine. Like I don't want to be looking choppy here, but um, luckily it just, everything is seamless for the most part, unless it does its own little separation. Um, but this is still some of the best hair that I've ever had. I swear by it. I tell people if you want to invest in hair, buy it from Ming. Ming always has a sale of some sort. Okay. So you might get a Black Friday sale. You might get a Christmas sale. You might get a Happy New Year sale. You might get a Valentine's Day sale. Like she brands herself to always have a sale, which I think is smart because it keeps you coming back, honestly. The first time I ever bought hair from her, I bought it on a sale. Mind you, I had bought four bundles and a closure for like 360. This time around, a closure and three bundles is about 360. So the price is going up, okay? Which is fine. And in that span of time, the price should be going up. So that's okay. But the price is going up. So I would advise you to get your bundles before the price goes any higher. Now, I am not opposed to um, AliExpress hair. Like everybody knows that's normally my go-to when I want hair. I go to AliExpress. But the thing about long hair is that you don't want it tangling back here. And AliExpress hair is going to tangle. I don't care if it's the best vendor on there. It's going to tangle. So you want to make sure you really know what you're getting. And so because this hair is long, and I know that I'm going to get at least six to four to six years out of it. I'm okay with spending the 360 because I'm going to get that, you know, that back in the amount of wears. Um, but baby, this hair is heavy, but it's pretty. Like, this is pretty. It's pretty, pretty. Um, I don't have any product on this hair whatsoever. Well, that's not true. I have... A little bit got to be sprayed up in here for the flyaways but aside from that i have no product on this hair and it still has all the shine and luster you know i did um when i first got the new bundles i have put them in um conditioner and set them to the side for about two days just to co-wash like i didn't use shampoo i just co-washed them but i put them in a bag with conditioner and set it aside and i did that for my old hair that I was adding to this wig too so that it could get revitalized and get nice and soft. And now it's like super soft. The conditioner I used was mane and tail. Some people don't like mane and tail. I love it. Um, so yeah. So aside from the bundles being thin, it's like you need about four to five bundles to really make it shake, okay? This wig, if I was to probably add it all up, it's probably about four and a half bundles on this on this on this wig. Um, and that's only because it's got the natural layer to it. If it was all 28 inches, I probably would have needed maybe even five to six bundles if it was all 28. Um so that's just something to consider. Like I said, I love this hair. This is not an advertisement. This is just off of genuine customer support. I love Ming. And so if you're interested in getting your own Snob Mob hair, I will definitely link everything in the description box. This is the Japanese denim straight texture, which I love, okay? That is my favorite texture that I've ever bought from her. I've also bought um, Brazilian from her, which lasted forever and took the color well. I'm not going to personally color this hair because you always need a black middle part slay. Okay. But, um, if needed be, I know that her hair takes the color well. So that's just what I'm talking about today. And I want to thank you all for tuning in.